Thanks for watching Tim's Vinyl Confessions. I'm Tim Derling. Um, where am I at? Uh, this is the uh, I filmed this on our vacation in uh, Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia, in a lovely little cottage. So thought a change of scenery instead of uh, just staring at me in the same background, you stare at me in another background. Uh, this episode is a reboot episode. It's a vinyl episode I did before, one of my earliest. Uh, it was a short one because I didn't have a lot of vinyl to show you. I still don't, but I have a little bit more than I did before, including a very, very rare piece of vinyl I want to show you. So this is another look at my Honeymoon Suite vinyl collection. We'll get started with um, something that predates their first album. I've talked about this before. Uh, what you're looking at here is a... This would have gone out with all singles in Canada that came out on WEA, Warner, Electra Atlantic, and all labels distributed by WEA of Canada, as you can see by the Maple Leaf here. So this is a 12-inch single of New Girl Now, their debut single, probably their signature song. And there's, there isn't uh, another song on the B-side. There's an open-ended interview. So this would have come with a cue sheet for a DJ to read questions as if we were interviewing the group live in studio. Canned answers, they did this back in the day. So uh, this was a way for, I guess, listeners to get to know this group that at the time was brand new. So that set the stage, uh, that was the idea, for the first Honeymoon Suite debut album. Iconic image, especially if you, like me, grew up in Canada during the 80s watching much music. Uh, the famous Bed of Nails. And this is a Canadian edition. A shot of Niagara Falls there, where of course the band is from. A bit of credits. Another Niagara Falls shot. And this is what the record itself looked like. So Canadian WIA logo, not a Warner Brothers logo. The U.S. version would have had that. And there you go. That's the first one. Second one, one of my all-time favorite albums by anybody. The Big Prize. This is another uh, Canadian version on WEA. Back cover. And... No lyrics, just a lot of credits, a lot of thank yous, photos, and a little guy that was on the cover. This one had a customized logo. First album did very well for them in Canada. Triple Platinum, this would end up doing the same. The next one came out in 1988, Racing After Midnight. This is another Canadian uh, version. I like what they did with the logo that time around. They only used it during this era. Of course, uh, Derry Green's very famous tire track guitar, which he still uses variations of it. I've seen a lot of guys uh, make their own version of that. So there you go. Some, uh, some credits, photos, more of the same here on the back. Some live shots this time. And the actual record. Customized again. This time they went with a silver logo. And that's where my uh, my previous episode would have ended, but since then I've, I've added to my Hide and Sweet Vinyl Collection. There's not much more to talk about, but in 1989, We of Canada uh, put out the singles. And of course that's a 45 adapter, or that's uh, what it's supposed to look like. This isn't one you see on vinyl all that much. This is a Promo only copy, property of William Music of Canada. This uh, this CD was reissued under the Essentials um, series. The last time I saw them in concert, I actually picked that CD up. It was the only uh, music they were selling at the time. So there's reminiscences about uh, each of the songs from various band members. There are pictures of them with uh, different people here. For instance, that's a picture of. Uh, uh, Derry and Johnny with Foreigner. If you look close enough, you recognize them. Um, there's Derry with uh, Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull. And it's uh, Derry, Gary Lalonde with none other than Dee Snyder of Twisted Sister. And what I like about the reminiscences on here is that the CD, the way it was printed out, you couldn't read everything because it was, it was like 
black print against a black or very dark background. You couldn't read it all. You can read it here. And this is what the record itself looked like to the singles. Now, uh, by 1990, you weren't, you weren't seeing a lot of domestic vinyl in North America, but in, in Europe, there continued to be. So I was very surprised once I discovered Discogs to find out that the, the next Honeymoon Suite album, Monsters Under the Bed, came out on vinyl. This came out in the fall of 1991 originally and didn't come out in the States. It came out on uh, WIA in Canada and it also came out in parts of other parts of the world. So here's Monsters Under the Bed on vinyl and this is um, it's a European version um, made in Germany. So Warner Manufacturing Europe. Very very thin, very very thin and uh, a little bit of damage on the sides, you can't really read it, but I mean, how often do you see this on vinyl? Not very often. And I've said this before, I don't usually play my vinyl, I don't have anything good to play it on, and in this case I couldn't if I wanted to, and I laughed so hard. Uh, the description, when I ordered this from Discogs, it actually came from Spain, and there was information about the condition of the record. And all I could see, it was, it was listed, I believe, as very good, which is good enough for me, and the price was reasonable. But I think there may have been a warning that the record was unplayable. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, so this is all imagery, lyrics, credits that were inside uh, the CD and cassette. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so side one. They're using the same WIA logo that Canada, that, uh, yeah, it was used in Canada. Nothing really out of the ordinary to see here. Uh, check out side two. Uh-oh. <laughs> they placed the label in the wrong spot. It's not in the center. Part of it, a lot of it, is on the grooves of the record itself, so this is unplayable. But I'm not going to try and peel the sticker back and replace it, because I know I'll rip it. I don't have another record like this. This is so funny. I'm glad I got this one. It's as dumb as that might sound, I can't play it, but I couldn't be happier. So that's all the vinyl I got, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat a little bit, skip ahead and show you a CD. And the reason I'm showing you the CD is because it's the most recent release from Honeymoon Suite, um, an EP called Hands Up, which I highly recommend you go out and get. Now, originally, uh, this was a, through a Pledge music campaign, and there were various uh, versions, like there always are. There's various packages you can pay for with Pledge music. I paid for just a standard CD. Here it is. This is got some pretty good stuff on here. I wish it had been a little bit longer. And the only reason I show this, number one, to bring attention to the fact they do have new music out, if you don't know, but this was also offered on vinyl. Now, it was a bit of a sticker shock for me. I can't remember what the price was. It was over a hundred bucks, but limited to something like, I don't know what it was limited to, it was a very small number. So I wish I had bitten the bullet and, um, and paid for it. Who knows, maybe they'll run off and make a, another run of it. Great Canadian band, one of my favorites, seen them in concert several times and will do again if they come my way. That's a rebooted look with a new background of my Honeymoon Suite vinyl collection. Thanks for watching Tim's Vinyl Confessions.